as well is if they exempt from being touched in this situation. No one's exempt. When you know it's a rumor, when you know it's a lie and you know it's defaming a person's character, don't repeat it. Hello, yes, this is your girl, Queen of Commentary, and we are back with another video. Yes, we are talking about Mr. Robert Hampton, AKA Mr. Latrue, and he's saying put some respect on his name, don't talk about him, don't defame his character, but you know what you need to do before we get into the video. Thumbs it up, subscribe if you have not already, and cut on your notifications so you'll be notified. So yeah, I listened to this video today and I just said, oh, let me go ahead and put a little commentary on it. And he wasn't specific on who he was talking about, but you guys take a guess who he was really talking about. Yeah, you know, they're playing their games, but let's get into it. Because now you become a part of the problem. We gotta stop doing this in this world that we live in. Running with lies that we know lies. Only because we want to destroy someone. It's sad. Defaming character for with me, you gonna pay me. I'm putting cases on all you liars. Just like Denzel Washington in Training Day. I'm putting cases on all you liars. You motherfuckers will be in the wick line messing with me. You will be in the food stamp line messing with me lying on me it's gonna be consequences because that's the only way to shut you up from lying we live in a world where now you can't you can't demand anything anymore a man can't even be a man in america no more so all you can do is is sue defamation of character that's it that's all you can do because that's what they do is lie on you they sit and lie on your character and they know they making up lies and they'll keep on adding lie on top of lie on top of lie with me, that's a fine on top of a fine on top of a fine. You're going to pay me to ruin my character. And I'm going to kick back like this right here. While you lying, I'm going to be sitting back glowing chilling. Glowing and glowing and staying out the way. Mm-hmm. Baby. Baby. <laughs> Instagram live earlier. That live was so good. And then um, somebody had me and me was like, girl, this page is giving obsessed. So let me catch you guys up. Apparently somebody opened up a page on Instagram to talk about Miss Brianna and talk about how her house is and maybe her marriage. I don't know. I didn't necessarily see it. I just heard it through the grapevine and reading comments. But yeah, apparently it did, you know, get her a little riled up. So she went live and talked about it, you know, and calling people obsessed and things like this. So the thing about it is, I think all of this has something to do with each other, but uh, let's And then watch. I see the fake page go live, and they all was looking dusty and rusty. <laughs> now one of them wanting to show their face. I said, woo, this is funny, honey. Are you going to try to talk junk about me all day long on your page? Then you finally go live, try to dance to drop it low, and y'all all looking dusty. Won't even show your face. <laughs> Desperation. Because <laughs> you are everything they're not. Clearly. Then they tried to say she shows up her home where, you know, um, it's unclean and it's raggedy. <laughs> pressed. <laughs> it's giving pressed. It's giving obsessed. It's giving the girl move the hell on and find something else to do. <laughs> it's the glow for me, you know what I'm saying? It's the glow. So apparently another page um, on Facebook 
tagged Brianna and had this lengthy post about the whole situation. Um, so let me go ahead and just read it. Who got time to create a page just to try to assassinate someone else? How you allow your sis or anybody else to degrade or come for your child's mother. I don't care what y'all situation is. That's still your child's mother. You get no respect from me. Now, let me say this right here. We just going to forget how Miss Brianna a few months ago was talking about how Mr. Latruth, um, how his um manhood is if you will and how uh he she was just talking all this crazy stuff about him now i'm not on anybody's side but what's good for the goose is good for the gander as the old folks say ain't nobody come against her when she did that okay but let me let me uh move on i don't care what y'all situation is that's still your child's mother you get no respect from me that woman making moves and y'all mad why get over it move on people love to see you win just not without them they always bring up your past when they can't mess with your present my advice to brianna is block it don't let it distract you or knock you off your pivot you're winning and the devil is mad. Make him even madder by continuing to be great. I got your back. We rooting for you because we don't do no hating over here. We love to see people win. I'm sick of the fake pages. If you got something to say, stop hiding and say it with your chest. And know this. Once God removes... A person from a situation, he rebuilds them. You can't destroy an image or a person that God built or working on. Okay, you know, that's how it was written, y'all. Things that would have broke her last year can't touch her today. Because she's built different. I'm telling you what I know, what I've heard. Keep going, sis, and let your blessings be so loud that you can't even hear the enemy. Ms. Brianna. Collecting the whoever you is around the world. To my kids. My kids get old enough to start making some money. If they lying on me, they'll be paying. That's defamation of character. The Bible speaks on lies. You're not going to be rewarded with lying on me. If you lie on me, I'm not just going to turn the other cheek and just sit back and let you keep lying on me. You got to give people the game just like this because they don't know no better. It's people that think they can just say whatever they want to say about you, destroy your character because they don't know no better. I'm giving you some game. Anybody that's watching this right now and you're planning to attack someone's character with lies, you better understand. I want everybody to watch this video. Spread this video because people need to know. Lying on people ain't going to get you ahead in life. It may make it look like it when you turn everybody against that person. But if that person's smart enough, defamation of character, they better go file that Because I ain't going to let nobody sit back and ride on my name. I work too hard to build my brand. I work too I work too hard to build my reputation. I'm going to continue to be a solid dude. But I'm going to come for them pockets. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come for them pockets. Like I just told you, no one's exempt. God never said one time, we're, we're God's children, correct? When we make these mistakes, we're going to have to pay the fine when we go to judgment day, right? If we're God's kids and he gave us all these instructions of things that we're not supposed to be doing, Lying on someone is one of those things. Killing someone is one of those things you're going to have judgment for. Trying to destroy people. You're going to have judgment for these things. You understand me? You're going to have judgment for these things. When you're dead and gone, this judgment is out there. So even if you're my kid and you lie and defame my name, you're going to pay for it. When you start making some money, that money coming to me. Y'all need to figure out what's right from wrong. It don't even take a it don't even take reading a Bible to know what's right from wrong. Oh, I'm angry. I'm angry. I see a comment that said I'm angry. Yes, I am angry. I'm angry that people are lying on people. I'm very angry. What do y'all think God would think about it? 
How do y'all think God is looking down on people who are telling lies on other people to destroy their character? Y'all thinking about me. Y'all talking about me. Somebody that's in the flesh just like y'all. Y'all talking about me, man. Of course I'm angry. Of course I'm angry. Why wouldn't I be? Y'all seen all the lies been told about me? Of course I'm angry. I'm supposed to be happy? What, you you want to see me cutting some backflips like I'm happy right now? <laughs> no, I'm not happy at all. I'm not happy at all. I'm still grinding. I'm still getting to it. I'm still healthy. I'm still living. But I'm going to get mine. Understand that. You're not going to sit around and lie on me and expect to keep all that shit. No one in this world. Nobody. You're going to have to work as hard as I had to work to get what I got. But when you defame someone's character, you're going to have to work as hard as I work and even harder to give me back what you owe me and get what you need to get to move forward in life. That's anybody out here plotting to defame on somebody's character. I'm giving y'all some knowledge. If y'all don't, if y'all don't take nothing else, y'all better take this with you. Because there's too many liars running around here. Y'all ain't got no respect for yourself and nobody else. Y'all sitting around telling lies on folks. That's the weakest act that you could ever have. The weakest act. That's weak. Keep it a hundred. Everybody should be keeping it a hundred. Now, if you want to lie on yourself, that's cool. You lying on you. But when you start lying on somebody else, you're getting taxed for that. You got to pay the fine. I don't care about what type of lies you make about yourself. Anybody in this world, if you want to lie on you, you want to say you did these things, you want to say you have certain things that you don't have, that's your lie for you, that's for your life. If you want to build your life up off telling a lie about you, that's fine. No one's hurt by that lie. You're the only one going to be hurt by that lie. And if you lying on yourself, you're hurting yourself. But when you start lying on other people, you got to pay for that. That cost. That cost. The Bible says, thou shalt not be lying. You know a lie is a sin. Y'all know killing is a sin. Y'all know a lot of things are sins, but people keep committing these acts. And then y'all jump on these social media apps acting like y'all holier than thou. We get it. No one's perfect. But when you're deliberately telling lies on people to destroy people because you're mad and you're bitter, anybody around the world is doing this. Shit, I ain't the only one that's been lied on. It's people in these comments right now who's been lied on and they justifying someone lying on someone. How does it feel to be lied on? How does it feel for your reputation to be attacked over lies? How does it feel? What I do, don't be just for me. What I do when I get on here and speak on these platforms is for everybody in the world that's went through it. Have you ever been lied on? How did that feel? How did that feel to sit and watch people spread the same lies about you that you knew was lies? How did that feel? And they knew, they knew it was a lie and they still did it. How does it feel? This ain't about me. This about the world. I don't do nothing just for me. Anything I do is for the world. We got to do better. Stop lying on people. You ain't going to catch me doing that. I got so much decency about myself. I'm not about to sit and lie on somebody. Man, I know I got truths about people that I don't even tell. That I know would ruin reputations. I got truths about people that I don't tell. I keep that to myself. I'm not here to destroy no one. If you wrong me, hopefully you figure out how to write that shit and you move on. I don't go tick for tack. I'm not trying to destroy and see people win. Even when you lie on me, I want to see you win. But you're going to pay me. Defamation of character is coming. You're going to pay me for lying on me. That costs. God cool with that. God ain't got no problem with me getting mine when you lie on me. God don't like liars. And I don't neither. So if y'all like liars, if y'all like liars, that's to y'all. That's Keep that. Roll with that. I don't, I don't f*** with a liar. I don't need somebody that I know lying on somebody else. Me personally, I can't even connect with somebody like that. You are the lowest form of a person to me if you're sitting around telling lies on somebody else. I can't rock with that. Never could as a kid moving up. When I was around kids that lied too much, man, I, dis I distanced myself from them. I can't be around a liar. Can't do it. Now, I don't care about them talking about what they... If they say something about their life, a small lie about their si they life, they say they went outside and... They flew last night. I don't give a f about that lie. That's you lying on you. But when you start lying on me and other people, I can't, I can't, I can't. That's something I can't come back from. I cannot mess with a liar. 
Anybody who's a liar, stay away from me. If I know you a liar, I can't rock with you. I treat people accordingly to how they treat me. I can tell from a conversation just sitting there talking with a person when it's nothing but lies.